Hello folks. Today, uh, it's been a while since I've posted a new video, but today I've been working on a project where I wanted to uh, take the data that I have on a spreadsheet. Here's just a little bit of data. And I wanted to merge that to a document template. So this is my document template. And notice on the document template, I'm taking these headers that I have here on my sheet, name, birthday, address, and I'm adding them in here to the Google Doc template. And I surround those with the double curly quotes. That's the marker that uh, the script knows to look for to replace these things with the data from the sheet. Now this works a lot like Autocrat or Document Studio, um, and some other third-party extensions you can use. And they're nice because they walk you through a nice interface to set all this up. But it's really pretty simple to set it up for yourself. So let's take a look at the script. Um, well, by the way, let's just go ahead and add a row of data just so you can see. So, you know, John, um, Wayne, here we got. I'll, I'll just mail this again to myself. Um, I wasn't using the birth dates because um, I could put some different data in here, but if I do put in a birth date, birth date um, uh, let's just run on something there. Let's do an address, 999 Highland. Okay, let's just do something like that. So if I have this data in here and I press my go button, by the way, I'll show you how I've set this up. This is just an image, three dots, assigned script, so this is the script that's going to run when you go ahead and press this button. Well, let's go ahead and press it and see what happens. Script's running. And in a moment, you'll see we have a process. So we know that this one's done. And the reason we have this, I'll show you this in the script, we don't want to keep running these rows of data. So we're taking this and then we're also making this into a link to the new document. And you can see, here's our John Wayne. Now, when you put in a birthday, um, it, we'd have to find a way in the script to not print this out as a full time because that, that doesn't make sense for a birthday. Um, anyway, this document could be formatted however you want. You could have fine print, small print, and all you're doing is replacing a mail merge. How do we do it? Well, here's the script. Let's take a look at it. So first of all, I'll just kind of run through this because the script's already built. We first of all go and uh, set up the function. We do a constant sheet, get the active spreadsheet, get the active sheet. Um, by the way, if, if you did have multiple sheets on this sheet, you would do a slightly different arrangement here. You do get active spreadsheet, get sheet by name. But right now, we're, <clears throat> we've only got the single sheet. We get the data range. We get all those data values. Then, assuming the first row contains headers, we define the headers. And that's data, this data, and it's row zero. And then assuming your columns are in this order, and, and it doesn't really matter what the order is, because the way this works, we're getting the index of. So in other words, this constant here gets me the name column, and it doesn't matter if I move that name column because I'm getting the index of where it finds in this array um, the word name and birthday and so forth. So we get all those uh, indexes and then we come down here and we need to identify the template ID. So that would be our, our template ID and you'll notice that that's this here starts with 1KM ends in N capital U, let's verify that, so 1KN, 1KM, so forth. So you, you get your document ID, and then we tell it that the template's gonna be the drive app, get the file by ID of this template ID. Then we need to get a folder to store this stuff, and in this case, we are, I've already created a folder. Um, here's my uh, documents. And then here's my generated docs folder. I get its ID, starts with one Z, 
and we can verify that we got that correct, 1z. You would replace this and this with your uh, particular information. And then we're going to iterate through each row. So the first thing we're going to do is take slice 1, we're ignoring the header, and for each, we have a constant name, birthday, address, email, and status, and we're getting the row with that index number, which we defined up here, and that's why we could move those columns around. This would still work. But then we want to check if the row has not been processed. In other words, status is not the word processed. So if status is not processed, then you use a document copy, that's a constant, which is the template, make a copy of it, and then here's where we name it. We take the name plus document, and then we define which folder it goes in. Then <clears throat> we want to access that copied document, so we open it. We open by ID because we have um, uh, the, the body open by ID, the document copy, which is this, get its ID, get the body, and then basically look for these placeholders, name, birthday, address, and replace them with name, birthday, and address. Then we mark the row as processed. And in this case, we're writing in the word processed if it's been done, and also then setting the hyperlink to the URL of that new document. So we can just click on that and open it right from the sheet. And then we want to go ahead and email this generated document to whoever's working with it and email the generated doc and add it, uh, add the name, uh, document PDF. And then we use a mail function here, this email generated document, that's this function, to email the associated PDF to the person. And that's it, this is pretty simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have you, uh, you'll have access to this document, um, uh, which contains the script and tells you where, what you need to replace. You could copy this script, build your own little template, and uh, see how this works for you.